Hello, I am here today to teach you how to properly use your stretcher. Using a stretcher is going to be a common thing that you're going to get used to as a radiologic technologist. And I just want to give you the simple steps in getting your patient from their room to their examination room safely. You want to first greet your patient by saying your name, where you're from, and what you're planning on doing. Before you take your patient from their room, make sure you have the right patient. So you need to verify that the name that is on the requisition that you have or your order matches the patient's armband that they have on their arm. So with this patient in particular, if she had an armband on, I would tell her, hi, my name is Professor Sano and I'll be doing your ultrasound exam today. Can you tell me your name and birth day, ma'am? Thank you. I'm going to take you from your room to the ultrasound department while I'll be doing your ultrasound, okay? Okay. What you want to do is always make sure that your stretcher is in the appropriate height just so you won't put muscle strain on your body. In order to raise the stretcher, you would use this pedal mechanism. And as I'm pumping the thing here, the stretcher is going up. And you want it at a comfortable height for you to push as you're going through the hospital. The next thing you'll have to do is take the brake off, which is located here. If you put the if you put it in the middle, it allows the wheels to move in a circular motion. If you put it going all the way back, it allows the stretcher to be steered. So, As you're going along down the hallway, you always want to push the stretcher in a forward position so you can view the path in front of you and you can also see your patient. You never want to pull your stretcher backwards like this because you can't see your patient. Your patient can easily fall off the stretcher and you not know or you can hit things that you can't see. If you come to entryways or elevators, you always want to let your patient know that there will be a small bump. Ma'am, you'll experience a small bump here. This so not to startle your patient. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Tune in for more.